All these tools and books looks like Ahmad's room. But where is he? Ahmed seems to be working on something new. But what? The letter says these books are for Ahmed. Measuring tools, like my father used to own. But these are Ahmed's. Ahmed always signs his work. This is definitely his doing. Diagrams, machine tools, and other oddities. This is definitely Ahmed's workshop. But where can he be? Pardon me. May I help you? I am looking for Ahmed ibn Musa. Do you know where I can find him? I may be able to help you. Follow me. Is this your first visit to the House of Wisdom? No. A friend and I used to sneak in as kids. We taught ourselves to read in your library. All young people should follow your worthy example. The caretakers who chased us out of the stacks every day did not think so. Merely doing the jobs. And what did you study in the House of Wisdom? I loved poetry and heroic tales. My friend preferred pagan gods and dark magic. Interesting. <laughs> And did you follow your youthful passion and become a scholar? When the whole world awaits. No. You might say I am a man on a mission. Ah, well. What about your friend? No, no, she... still searches for something. Though what that is, I do not know. A shame. It's not far now. Hurry, hurry. God, help! I'm on the attack! What? You lie! You rat! What are you up to? This is bad. How are you? You are breathing! This offends me! Being that one! Hamid. Then tell me, where is Ahmad ibn Musa? Please, sir. I don't know where he is. Truly, I do not. Then why lead me into an ambush? He... he made me do it. Who is he? Not Ahmad, surely. I don't know his name. For he always wears a mask. And what does this masked man want? He commands me to keep everyone away from the House of Wisdom stick site. Or else... Or else what? He will hurt my head. Like with the others. Please, spare humble Hamid. Where is this dig site? It's in the wilderness. Outside of the city. Hey, let me draw you a map. Mm. The map should lead me to the dig site. This isn't a 
could be if you damn barbarian. This is the place. They are not expecting trouble. I could likely slip in without any bloodshed. I am here to get you out. Alhamdulillah. There is only one small problem. I have suffered some injuries, and I am not sure I can walk. Why did the bandits kidnap you? They uncovered an ancient legend concerning a great treasure in this region. And given that I am an historian of some renown, they assumed I might be of use in locating said treasure. Done to perfection. You are safe here. Now, about this treasure. Treasure? <laughs> there is none. At least not of the golden variety. Of course, I could not tell the bandits that. Otherwise, they would have slit my throat and moved on. So, if not gold? It is the water that flows beneath our feet. In a barren land. That water is more precious than many armfuls of gold. I see. Alhamdulillah. Such a massive dig. What are they up to? Mercenaries guarding the site. They must have found something important. When we 
We get paid, Captain. We will get paid. One way or the other. So they don't have much to steal. But it's something. Fate calls. should keep looking. Impressive work, my friend. Are you digging up something for the Khalifa? Never you mind all that. The remains of past empires intrigues me. Do you mind if I take a look around? Look at the old rocks all you want, but don't touch our tools and chests. I would not dream of it. This heat makes me ill. Oh, I want to vomit. Whatever you do, don't ask for Dr. Hassan. I know. I know. I disappear. Like the other. Mother! Help! Get her here! So much for staying hidden. Nothing. 
I should see if there are any more chests around. Signature seal on it. Must be his. Interesting. A letter to Ahmed from a doctor Hassan. Ahmed must be at the hospital working with this doctor. But what is a famous inventor doing with a doctor? It must all link together somehow. familiar. Bimaristan, where the best healers in Baghdad gather. Finding Dr. Hassan should lead me to Ahmed. I need to find a way into Dr. Hassan's office. Proves it. Hassan is neck deep in the order. The symbol of the order. This all but proves that Dr. Hassan is one of them.
Leave her! The shirt will leave with it. I have some burnt scholars. Some scholars from the House of Wisdom got burned trying to save the books. We need that room for the patients. No! That's Dr. Hassan's private laboratory. It's locked. No one must go inside. So we just leave the burned victims outside? Will someone answer me? Please, use your indoor voice. You're upsetting the patients. Dr. Hassan keeps his laboratory locked up. I wonder why. Maybe I should not say that out loud. Focus, Hassan, focus. The doctor is dead. Now to find Ahmed and solve this bloody mystery. Basim, what happened here? Where were you, Ahmed? I was around. I'm always around. Would you tell me what happened? Are you aware this man works for the Order? He called on me a few weeks ago after they found something in the desert. An ancient mechanism of some sort. They needed me to- And you asked no questions. I never ask questions when it comes to work. Do you? Tell me about this mechanism. It opens a path in the mind, a path to the ancient world. This mechanism somehow seems to open the doors of perception. Have you seen this for yourself? No, but I heard the stories of those who have. They are lost, Basim, because they think what they saw is reality. They think they belong to this ancient world. I knew nothing about the Order being involved. If I did, I would have come to you. I just... I got caught up. You know me. You know me, Basim. You will leave this place and return to the Bureau. I will not tell a soul if you do not. How shameful it is that knowledge always ends up in the wrong hands. Isn't it, Basim? I should continue investigating the library.
This is the place. A list of what is inside these jars would make my search easier. This sample should suffice. the samples I need. Now to drop them off. <clears throat> Who would think to look for these samples in a planter? Only those in the know. A fine finish. I've taken one. Fighting with the Amir of Banda back in 38. Got a spear in the back. Lucky I'm alive. Mm -hmm. So it took all winter to heal. <sighs> oh. mm -hmm. There is my key holder. Make sure the guests have plenty to drink. The key is plucked. Now on to my prize. I really should attend more parties.
A nice piece of work, but I have no time for idle admiration. Done to perfection. Here is the drop off. I trust the right person finds it. for art these days. Peace, friend. Well met. Can you make this better? Here's what I have. Your help is invaluable. Farewell. Suspicious. I should investigate. Oh, yeah. Caretaker of books. Somebody posted guards around the library. Ah, uh, what is going on these days? I should check the second floor. <laughs> the library is guarded. Something must have happened. The K 
caretaker of books. He's dead. But he wrote Mansach in his own blood. I wonder. Something in his hand. Fabric. Torn from a woman's gown. But whose? Strange fires and a dead caretaker. Horrifying. I should hurry. There, one of the Thahavin members. I should investigate. <clears throat> Better keep my eyes open. As you were. Attention! Prepare the prisoner on Zahra's order. A prisoner? Here? That guard might have the key. Abahar. The man's not had a good meal in days. He got our orders. Nobody goes into city again. Poor guy. Locked up with a bunch of books. I'd go mad. The knights of land of the Kuma Road, they farm to shame. Aharis are nearby for water. Now do you go. Ooh, I've bought some of those pigs. Killed a couple. They are wild, but you taught me that. But so am I. No, it wasn't the judge that led the charge to the ground. It was Hey, where's my horn? Shit, if there is trouble, I'll smash it. Time. I... I almost cracked it. Don't worry. I'm not here to kill you. What are you trying to crack? The book. I said I couldn't. This is not a language I know, but she gave me no choice. Who? A woman named Zahra. One of the scholars here. What is this book? What is it called? The only thing I know is that it is written in a script unlike any other. And I have seen hundreds. The way Zara talks, it's more of an artifact or relic than a book. I uh, lied about my progress so they wouldn't kill me. I can't read a single word. I don't even know if it's a language. Where can I find Zahra? I don't know. She could be anywhere in the city. I... I just want to go home. All right, get to safety before the guards return. Must be something here to help me. This order letter mentions Arib. An innocent reference, or something more sinister.
This book makes me uncomfortable. I will leave it here. This letter gives the location of the scholar Zahra's estate. Time to visit Zahra's estate and see if she is involved with the Order. This peculiar machine. I saw something like it in Ahmad's workshop. ابن لوقا شخص but nobody's home. Now is my chance to search her place. <sighs> Another book of poetry by Arib. She definitely is popular in certain circles. Zahra is definitely tied to the Order, along with somebody named El Rabisu. Learned all I can. Better get to high ground and get ready. Zahra might return any minute. glass of dead juice on ice and serve it with a plate of honeyed bread and pomegranates then prepare the bath salts I am utterly beat <sighs> paradise is where you find it that old fool tinkering with his worthless ancient disc and helpless patience. Bah. Of course, say that. The real answers are in books. They are always in books. Am I not right? Always say that.
Did he? Zahra thought that strange book would get their great work functioning. Good thing Hunayn could not translate a single word. I should return to the Rafiq. Join me on the roof. فلتصحبك السلامة في رحلتك. Basim, I knew it was you. You are not the only one with eyes that see afar. So, Tabed, you have filled the streets with eyes and spies. Such is the life of a Rafiq. Without my knowledge, eh? Where would we be? Knowledge is a tool, a weapon. It can be used for good or ill, and the Order is using it for ill indeed. What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. Mm. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it their great work. The Order is experimenting on people, lethally. I have stopped them for now. But someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Mm. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Mm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. An informal gathering of scholars. A lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go! Spy out this puzzle with care. But do not throw your blade at the symposium. We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fazil is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike! But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. Oh, 
I am excited about Fazen's Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'munia, the poet? Where is Arib? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. I doubt it. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. The translator? What is he still doing here? Hunayn, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wada'an. Hey, Nine Fingers! Over here! I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boards have the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmad ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, 
Sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. Where is that poet Abid loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places? Spirit of the sands, pilot of desert ships. From distant lands bring to our ears, from your wind-touched lips, the mirage's song, the kiss that grips. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos. I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. Pardon me. Is Fazel Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside if you please.